Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers, subscribers, viewers, and students. Here is another video in structural analysis, particularly on cables subjected to concentrated loads. If you want to anticipate the solution to this problem, then you can by posting the video so that uh, those who have ideas on how to solve this problem can further enhance their skills, thereby preparing them to become civil engineers in the future. The figure shows a cable subjected with concentrated loads. Knowing that Q is 6 kN, determine the following, the magnitude of the load P, the vertical distance YD, the total length of the cable. So for parts A and B, I will present two solutions. You may just present one, your comfortable way of solving this problem but I present two solutions the other solution would be by applying the general cable theorem so let's project for the general cable theorem we have a beam loaded with the same loadings length of beam is the same so we just transmit the loads Q is 6 kN then P same distance so I'll present the statics approach first let's call the Component reactions at A as VA, vertical VA and horizontal H and at E, V sub E, vertical and H, horizontal. So summation moments about B equals 0, V sub A times 1.5 equals H times 1.2. So that means... V sub A is 0.8 of H, 1.2 over 1.5. Then summation moments about C equals 0 considering forces left of that part. So right, we cut BC, then summation moment C. Earlier, we cut AB and we sum up moments about B considering forces to the left of that section. Here, we cut BC and we consider forces to the left. We sum up moments about B. C. So V sub A times 3.9, 1.5 plus 2.4 is 3.9, and V sub A is 0.8 of H. Then minus H times 1.8 minus Q, which is 6 times 2.4 equals 0. So from here we can also solve for H. H is 120 over 11 kilonewtons. Having found H, V sub A from this equation is 0 0.8 of 120 over 11, and that is equal to 96 kilo over 11 kilonewtons. So having found V sub H and V sub A, we then sum up moments about E considering the entire system so that we can solve for P. So it is equal to H, which is 120 over 11 times 0 0.6, plus V sub A, 96 over 11 times 7.3, 1.5 plus 2.4 is 3.9, plus 1.8, 5.7, 5.7 plus 1.6, 7.3. Then equals, equals, let's begin with this, 6 times quantity 2.4 plus 1.8, 4.2, 6, 5.8, 6 times 5.8 plus p times 1.8 plus 1.6 3.4 then plus q which is 6 times 1.6 so only p is the unknown here we can now solve for p p is 7.604 kilonewtons then for the general cable theorem approach i'll draw this imaginary cord as shown we'll call here the distance from this horizontal line through A to that imaginary cord as delta B. Then here, delta C. 
and here at D delta D. Then by similar triangles, delta B as to 1.5 equals delta C as to 3.9, 1.5 plus 2.4, 3.9. Equals delta C as to 3.9 plus 1.8, 5.7. Delta D over 5.7 equals 0.6 as to 7.3. Delta B is equal to 9 over 73 meters. Delta C equals 117 over 365 meters. And delta D equals... 171 over 365 meters. Then, by principle, we need to solve for R1 summation moment about R2 equals 0 in the, for the beam. So, R1 times 7.3 equals 6 times 4.2 plus 1.6, 5.8 plus P times 3.4 plus 6 times 1.6. Simplifying, divide everything by 7.3, 7 so R1 is 34P over 73 plus 444 over 73. So by principle, the moment under this load B here is the product of the horizontal component of tension H only for this cable where the loads are vertical, not applicable when one of the loads here has is inclined that the horizontal component of reactions at A and at E will not be equal. So moment under this point loading is R1 times 1.5 and we equate that to the product of the horizontal component of tension H and the vertical distance from this point B here on the cable to that imaginary cord which is 1.2 plus delta B. So H times 1.2 plus delta B, which is 9 over 73, equals moment here. And the moment here is R1, 34P over 73 plus 444 over 73 times 1.5. Simplifying, 483 over 365 H equals 34P plus 444 over 73 times 1.5. Then call that equation 1. Next, at C, the moment here is R1 times 1.5 plus 2.4, 3.9, then minus 6 times 2.4. So, H times 1.8 plus delta C, the product of horizontal component of tension and the vertical distance of point C to the imaginary cord, which is 1.8 plus delta C, and this is delta C, is equal to the moment at the same point C on the beam. And that is R1 times 3.9 minus 6 times 2.4. R1, which is quantity 34P over 73 plus 444 over 73 times 3.9 minus 6 times 2.4. Simplifying, H times 774 over 365 or 774 over 365 H equals 34P plus 444 over 73 times 3.9 minus 14.4. Dividing equation 1 by equation 2, then we get rid of H and 365. So 483 over 774 equals quantity 34P plus 444 times 1.5 divided by 34P plus 444 times 3.9. And since we cancel 73, we have 73 here, then this 14.4 should be multiplied by 73 first divided by all over 73. So that's why 73 is cancelled. Then we cross multiply. 483 over 77 times 3.9. That would be 2,093 over 860 times 34 plus 444. Then 14.4 times 73 times 483 over 774 is this value, negative 655. 0.9821 then equals quantity 34p plus 444 times 1.5. Since these are like terms and this is greater than 1.5, so 2093 over 860 minus 1.5 would be 803 over 860 times quantity 34p plus 444, then transpose this to the right, 655.981. Finally, we can solve for fee, 4p, 655.981 times 860 divided by 803, then after that minus 444, 
after minus 444 equals then divide by 34 solving for pp is 7.604 just like there in by solution solution by statics then by general cable theorem we need to know r1 then r2 then moment at d is product of h horizontal component of tension h times the vertical distance to this imaginary cord which is y d plus delta d and delta d is 171 over 365 but r1 is 34 times 7.604 by the way this is the equation by general cable theorem h which is 96 over 11 Uh, in solving for yd by statics because we have found h and va so summation moment about d equals zero so this is va 96 over 11 and the distance is 1.5 plus 2.4 times 1.8 5.7 at d sum up moment about d then minus h times yd minus 120 over 11 times yd or equals h times yd then plus q which is 6 times uh, 2.4 6 times 4.2 rather uh, we sum up moment about the 2.4 plus 1.8 so 6 times 4.2 plus p which is 7.604 times 1.8 so the only unknown here is yd solving for yd yd is 0.9953 meters then by the general cable theorem, we need to know R1, then solve for R2 because the easier way of computing moment at D is R2 times 1.6. And it is equated moment there equated to H times this vertical distance YD plus delta D. And delta D is found. So... Having found P here, we can actually solve for H and I'm not presenting it anymore. You may substitute in it into P is equal to 7.604 in equation 1 or in equation 2 to solve for H. But H is definitely 120 over 11 because P is 7.604. So R1 is equal to 34 times 7.604 over 73 plus 443 over 73. So R sub 1 is equal to 9.6238 kilonewtons. Then summation forces vertical for the beam. R sub 2 is 6 plus P which is 7.604 plus 6 then minus R1 which is 9.6238. So R sub 2 is 9.9802 kilonewtons. The moment at D is r2 times 1.6 and we equate that to h which is 120 over 11 times quantity yd plus delta d 171 over 365 so 9.902 times 1.6 equals h 120 over 11 times quantity yd plus delta d 171 over 365 so the only unknown here is yd so 9.9 802 times 1.6 times 11 divided by 120 then the answer minus 171 over 365 so from there we can solve for yd and yd is 0.9953 meter as which is the same as that so finally for the total length we begin here total length is equal to square root of 1.5 square plus 1.2 square 1.5 square root of 1.5 square plus 1.2 square plus square root of 2.4 square plus this vertical distance is 1.8 minus 1.2 so 0.6 so square plus square root of 2.4 square plus 0.6 square then plus this distance is 1.8 then the vertical distance 1.8 minus yd which is 1.8 minus 0.9953 and that is 0 0.8047 so plus square root of 1.8 square plus 0 0.8047 square and finally plus square root of 1.6 square 
yd plus 0.6 is 0 0.9953 plus 0 0.6 is 1.5953. So square to 1.6 square plus 1.5953 square. So the total length using your calculator is equal to 8.626 meters. So that's it for this video. I hope that you were able to follow the solutions, the explanations, because this is after all topic in structural theory. If you find this uh, still difficult, then that only means you will have a hard time pursuing the course C.